Welcome back. Remember this slide? I told you that we're going to wait until we set up our developer environment. And up until now, we've been using a browser to run our Python code. But we want to be professional developers. And professional developers use professional tools. In our case, these are the main ones in the Python community right now. We have the terminal or command prompt, if you're on Windows, to run quick Python scripts. And we've seen this before. I can go into my terminal, type in Python or Python 3, make sure that we have that version. And then in here, I can just write any Python script that I want. I enter it and I just run these simple scripts and I can just exit like this. This is used for just quick testing, but most of the time you're not going to see professional programmers use this method very often. Instead, most of the time we use something like code editors or IDEs. Now, nothing's preventing me from writing Python code in, let's say, a Word document, a Google Docs, or a text file. But the problem with that is that, well, it just looks like text. And when you make a spelling error, when you write improper syntax where it's not Python code, if I just write it in a Word document, it's not going to tell me any information. A professional developer needs some extra tools that code editors and IDEs provide that help us be more efficient with our code. And we're going to be exploring that over the next couple of videos. But what is a code editor and an IDE and what's the difference? We're actually going to show you how each of these work. But a simple rule is that code editors are lightweight. They give you some really nice features like auto-completion, linting, which we're going to talk about, while IDEs are full-fledged environments. That is, they provide a ton of extra stuff in order for us to just write really good code. Because of that, they tend to be bigger. You have to download a large file size, but they come with a lot of things like auto-completion, debugging, code formatting, unit testing, code snippets, so on and so forth, versus code editors where you have to just install bits and pieces and kind of create your own environment. But enough talk, let's actually install some of these. And don't worry, at the end, we'll also introduce you to this idea of a Jupyter Notebook, which is one of my favorites. 